For the past couple of weeks, I've been doing extensive research into sticker shops, sticker shops, sticker shops, sticker shops, sticker shops. So, I don't know if any of you remember this community post I posted to my channel last November uh, last year. But if you don't remember or haven't read it, uh, basically, uh, I kind of wanted to expand my horizons, uh, you know, like try and see what other baskets were out there to put my eggs in. Because quite frankly, the way my YouTube channel is going doesn't really give me much uh, long-term hope. So, uh, I did something. <coughs> <coughs> oh, oh, wow, what was that? Hello everyone, I'm Yunari, and I decided to open up my very own sticker shop. Yes, as I speak these words, the shop is live, you can go there right now. Everything works, I completely built the entire thing myself, I'm so happy with how it turned out. Uh, I currently have about 5 different items up for sale. Uh, I got about 20 stock per item, uh, but I very much would like to expand that amount of items uh, at some point in the future, if my current range ends up selling well. My wish for this shop is to eventually be able to like extend it to a whole ass like stationary shop with like cute notebooks and notepads and keychains maybe, like that would be so cute. Ah, uh, like, uh, oh, I'm, so, I'm just so excited. Oh, uh, also, uh, for as much as I despise TikTok, uh, I did make an account there just for my uh, shop-related business, so please give me a follow there if you want to stay up to date. Uh, though I probably will also post about it to my Twitter and Instagram, probably. But that would be very appreciated. I am so excited. Uh, like, I've literally been working on this behind the screens ever since November, so please Please allow me to share my experience with you all, like my my story about like what happened with the whole sticker shebang and the troubles I encountered along the way. Hello, hello. Uh, it is me, the Unari, uh, coming live to you from my fucking bedroom. Look, it's my shop. Uh, it's not live yet, but. This is basically what I've been working on for uh, the past god knows how many months. Oh, I'm so happy with how it's turning out. And here I have a little countdown. Uh, I still have to adjust this number to something better. Uh, but yeah, um, welcome everyone. Again, apology if my rambling right here is a little bit all over the place. It's just, uh, I do not know how to do this vlog style content. I've never done this before, so uh, yes. Hello. Oh yeah, by the way, this is my fucking desk, in case you're wondering. Ta-da! And my figures up there. Yay, and plushies. But yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoy it, nonetheless. I have been very hard at work, um, making a bunch of stickers, like I mentioned just uh, earlier. And yeah, um, I guess I'll, I'll just show you guys what I've been up to. Can I open? Wow, it's... All of the stock of all of the things that I made. Oh, I'm so happy with how all of this shit has turned out. Like, look. Look at it. It's all so fucking cute. Again, these past few weeks have mostly just been up to, like, producing all of that stuff that you just saw. Now, uh, this is my trusty, uh, uh, portrait, silhouette portrait that I use for all the cutting. I fucking hate this machine. When I got this machine, it just didn't want to work properly, and I fully blame that because it's an American fucking machine. And therefore it's like, oh, did you know that you're not supposed to use... Hold up. You're supposed to use these stripes and not that one? Did you know that? No, I did not know that. And also apparently, like, the sheet that comes with it is, like, based on, like, American letter size. And I'm like... What the fuck is letter size? I only know A4. And then in this bottom drawer, I have like everything else sto stored. Uh, don't mind this. Um, this was for testing purposes. Um, Alan slash Zan slash my boyfriend uh, came over here and he fucking was like, I'm gonna stick them on my uh, deodorant. So uh, there's that. 
Uh, yeah, and then a bunch of like shipping materials, envelopes and shit. Uh, empty ink bottles and paper and all that stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention I have a paper cutter, which is super handy. It's one of those guil guillotine ones. And it's extremely ancient. I think this comes from like the 80s or something or the... See, it says made in Japan. That means it was made before the whole China produces everything takeover phase. Yeah, so far it's been very fun. I really enjoyed the process of like making everything, putting all of like the stickers together, packaging it and all that stuff. Like it's so, it's so cute and fun to do. I, I really enjoy it and I really hope people will enjoy uh, the shop. So yeah, uh, back to um, properly, uh, uh, proper recording, Mike, you, you, him, back to this. So like I mentioned, I made the decision to go all in on this back in November, uh, starting out by basically just doing a whole bunch of research. Uh, all of which I wrote down in my bullet journal of that year. Uh, I think I showed some of it in my bullet journal video. I just wanted to have as much info as possible before making any real investments. Because it's important to consider things like, well, I'm going to be printing a lot, so best to try and find a printer that has a high page yield compared to like ink costs and such. So cartridge printers immediately went out the window, because no way I'm falling for that scam. Oh, you printed X amount of pages? Well, turns out the cartridge is empty. Not really. Sorry, I can't print anything till you replace me. Ooh. Fun fact, did you know that printer ink is one of the most valuable liquids on Earth? So, instead, I got myself one of those ink tank models, uh, specifically the Epson Eco Tank. They don't use cartridges, uh, instead they have actual like separate ink bottles that you use to directly dump into the printer. Which is super helpful if you want to like print a lot of stuff. The only downside to those models being that, or, or at least from what I've read, that you have to print something at least once a week just to keep the ink flowing through the machine, because otherwise you might end up getting some clogging in the tubes of the printer. To be fair, buying that printer was the most difficult part of this entire journey so far. Like, it was just so difficult to make that one big, that one initial expensive purchase necessary to kickstart everything. Because you're like, oh, well, there's a lot of money to invest in, uh, don't know. Because I put off, like, buying anything physical for, like, months. Uh, I think uh, I only bought the printer in July, June, July is when I finally purchased it. Before the longest time, I just tried my best to do whatever the hell I could in the digital space without really having to pay any money towards it. Because the idea of like having to purchase something so expensive was just very daunting. However, in June I was like, okay, you know what, fuck it, I'm, I'm just gonna do it, I'm gonna purchase it, I'm gonna do it. But, of course, uh, you can't make stickers using just a printer. So I purchased a bunch of other supplies as well. And of course, a cutting machine, because yeah, I can cut everything by hand if I wanted to, but given how rheumatism tends to run in my family, uh, I kind of don't want to tempt fate, you know? So I bought myself one of them silhouette portrait cutting machines. Very fancy. Alan, it's not recognizing it. It's still not being recognized. Okay, yes, it registers it. So yeah, absolute fucking nightmare to set up. I hate it, I despise it, uh, but it works now, so, uh, and it's doing a very good job, so I'm not complaining. 
Beyond that, it's been mostly just testing different print settings, different cutting settings, and just the whole process from designing sticker sets to finally printing them. Uh, another part that also took a fair amount for me to like get through was making the webshop itself. Like that took a huge amount of time. I decided to make the whole thing uh, using WordPress and WooCommerce because the pricing of Shopify did not really make me particularly happy. So me being Dutch, why pay for something if I can do it by myself for free? Plus, I gotta put my degree to a good use somehow, right? <laughs> December and January is when I built the majority of the shop. Uh, then in April, I adjusted some more things. And just now, I added like the final touches. Now that there are actual products I can add to the site. So yeah, I hope everything will work fine. But if people do end up discovering errors or weird visual glitches, then they can always reach out to me and contact me about it. I'll, I'll fix it. Oh yeah, almost forgot about it, but I also built my very first IKEA product ever. Uh, also because of this whole sticker business, because uh, I needed some sort of like storage drawer desk thing to put all of my necessary supplies in, uh, plus somewhere where I could put my printer and cutting machine on top of. And for the past 10 years or so, there's been this one space in my room that's been occupied by a ginormous bean bag that I barely use, so... I figured I could put that space to better use, and actually, it really wasn't all that difficult to put everything together. Like, I normally never do anything like handiwork related, and even I could build it just fine. Even a femoid like me can do it. <laughs> yeah, it took me about four hours to complete, but it looks really great. And it's not falling apart. Uh, anyway, that's all I really wanted to share with you guys. Uh, I'm so excited about the shop. I really hope you'll check it out, see if there's anything you like. Uh, I don't think the shipping costs are all that bad, and you can pay in a bunch of different currencies. So, uh, that's nice too. Um, I've never really dabbled in anything this, like, small business type stuff before, so, um, yeah, uh... We'll see what happens. Would be really nice if the shop were to do well. Uh, hopefully that I can expand my range of products in the future some more. Uh, that would be really, really fucking awesome. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching and uh, see you all whenever. Bye! I want to give a special shout out to Matt, Mathichia, and Romanoff for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you guys very much. Again, my only outro message for this particular video is please go check out my shop and see if there's anything there that you might like because uh, any business is very much appreciated. <laughs>